Okay, if it's not working this time, I'm done with YouTube. Hey Valerie, Jens, how are you buddy? Hey, and even the microphone's working. Welcome everyone. Here we are, fishing sunrise at the spot we've been fishing for the last couple of days. And as always on um, our live streams, we try and capture the moment with our community. Welcome everyone. Okay, Jens, how are you today? Yeah, that's what it's about, uh, Valerie. It's about interacting with our environment. Okay. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's do that. All right, so that goes down there. We've been catching a little mulloway here for the last um, couple of days. Just getting my um, eye in with the soft plastics. So, uh, oh. oh, once again, the braid. Hey Gav, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Oh dear. Oh, that's because when it goes out of uh, view, when it goes out of view, it cuts out, Valerie. I might have to just change position for this stream. I've got both... Um, I had to go and get some uh, more um, equipment yesterday. So we're all good. Adrian Schindler, how are you bud? Welcome everyone. I don't want top chat. I want live chat, thank you. Yes, I don't know why YouTube segregates like that. It's a, just a total waste of time. Chat's chat. I don't know how we're going to go this morning as there's a very, very low tide. So. All right, have I got enough to actually do some line here? Okay, Valerie, thanks, mate. Uh, I don't have enough cotton. I mean, thread. This is where teeth are handy. Morning, Phil. How are you, bud? How are you over there, Phil? What's the feeling at Stanford Bridge, mate, after the Champions League game the other night?
At least we got onto YouTube today. Do you think uh, two shells lost the dressing room? Because that's important. <sighs> Beautiful. What? What are you doing here? Come on. Plenty of fish out here, fam. Yeah, that's right, mate, isn't there? All right, let's get our little, um, actually what we should probably do is go here, like that. It's charging good. Wow, yeah, that makes it tough, doesn't it? Well, it's the same old story. With football, Phil, you've just got to enjoy the good times while they were there, mate, you know? I'm a Liverpool supporter and, you know, everybody's on the clop wave at the moment. But between 1995 and 2005, we did nothing, mate. You know? Hey, Cal. Oh, it is, mate. Just a beautiful sunrise. We had a bit of rain last night. It was beautiful before. There was mist coming off the water and everything, but do you think I could go live? Now, if these have been sleeping overnight, they will be hungry. And that's what happens when I look straight into the sun. All right, let's have a look. We've had our first hit, famo. Just going to leave it now that we've had a hit. First cast, we had a hit. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, and that's the thing. Oh, no. Second cast, is it? Oh, seriously. Look at this, famo. Do not buy this Shimano braid. Right. I've had nothing but headaches with it. Any other braid I can use here without a swivel, no dramas whatsoever. But this stuff, horrible. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, Manchester City, Phil, isn't it? You know, they nearly got knocked out of League Two. Was it 99? And everybody's on the wave with Pepe and all that sort of stuff, but 
you know, a lot of football fans have very short memories, mate. All right, let's just leave that there. It's a bit shallower, so I need to go a little bit lower on the rod tip. See that? That's fish. Oh, that was fish too. Yeah, they're out here, famo. They're out here. I think they're a little bit bigger than yesterday. Come on, bud. It is right in when it's shallow. There we go. Hello Skyquake Warrior, off to bed, 125, thanks for saying hello P, I hope everyone's good. Gonna give it a bit more time now. Radio. Nice work, Famo. Yeah, just a short stream today before I go out and do some work, you know. So. Excuse me again, it's a bit fresh. Thanks, Valerie. Let's vary this retrieve now. Oh, Gibbo, what's going on, bud? Thank you. Right.
There's another bite. Very tentative this morning. I think they might be clipping the tails at the moment, so. Ah, oh, come on. And the best thing about this is no blowfish. So. Whew. That's a beautiful setting with the sun reflecting on the water, isn't it, fam? Just very hard to keep the glare out of the eyes, you know? Oh, did everybody see that over there on the right-hand side of me? Should be able to pick it up, you know, unless my huge noggin's in the way. But there is smaller fish out there, so... You should be able to pick it up on the reflection, because the water's like a mill pond at the moment. There's that heat fish, come on. They're not really, unless they're really small. Let's have a look. Rightio. So let's have a look what's happening here. Yeah, that tail's absolutely battered. Oh, no wonder they're not setting the hook. Hang on. Let's go with that now. Nicely, nicely. Oh, you're working today, Cal. Ah. All right, first fish of the day, famo. So we're on now. Beautiful little take, very, very soft take. I don't think there's much size to this because it's not taking the drag out, but I'll just quickly bring this in. Come on, little fella. Yeah, just a small fish. Oh, come on, bud. Oh, there we go, fam. So the fish that I've caught now is called a, a mulloway. Okay, this is a juvenile version. Um, these fish grow up to about 60 kilos when they eventually leave the river and go to the salt. <sighs> okay, beautiful little hues there. Right, back it goes. See you, bud. Off it goes. And that's the good thing about soft plastics. You just get a really nice, clean hookup with the fish and uh, you can let them go again. So, let's get that over here now. Got to have a landing net to handle your fish properly. All right, let's go again. Hey there, Jim Kimpton. Yeah, of course it's live, mate. Why wouldn't it be live? Welcome, mate. How are you today, bud? Don't forget to like and subscribe, famo. What I might do is actually bring this down a bit closer because that's a bit far away. 
for what we're trying to do. Let's go like that. Let's try that, shall we? Yeah, it's probably a bit better. Whoops. We don't have to go as far. Hey! <laughs> Trace. Nice to see the people from the valleys coming in to say hello. How are you, mate? Welcome, bud. How's life treating you? Undercover. <laughs> oh. Yes, Special Agent Lambert. So. Right, that was another hit there, Fermo. So. What's all this oil and gunk on the side of the bank? Why would they do that? Oh, <laughs> hey, pub test, welcome. Perfect view for bacon and eggs. You know the silly thing is, Lowy, I need to spend 150 Australian to get that Streamlabs thing out of the top left corner. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try a uh, new program as of tomorrow. So we're going to see how that goes. The one that um, the uh, gentleman from uh, the Twitch stream told us about, Corbin. Oh, there it is. There's fish everywhere here this morning, fam. So. Oh. <laughs> yes. You're going to give a whole new meaning to the words woolly jumper there, Mr. Kimpton. All right. Yeah, yeah I know what you said. Easy. <laughs> Yes, the old pelican feeding on juvenile Mulloway. Oh, thanks, mate. You'll have to come out for a visit one day. But I suggest you uh, sit in the oven for three or four hours on end to get uh, accustomed to the weather. I already had one little fish today. Yeah, a lot of it depends on how you, you know, try and portray it. So, I mean, um, you know, we don't try and, on our streams we don't try and portray things, you know, like, uh, I don't know, sometimes I think on social media, Aussies go out of the way to portray us as a country full of bogans when we're not, you know. 
Ronnie C. Certainly is, bud. Penguins always try and photo bomb you too. <laughs> Let me guess, another knot. Wow, what a surprise, Shimano. As soon as my Berkeley line turns up Monday, this is getting taken off this reel, famo. Let's see if there's anything hanging around this structure over here. Yeah, there's more to Australia than drinking, fam. I'll give you the tip. And I mean, the good thing about this is, this is virtually, uh, once we go to 4K, it's gonna be uh, television quality content, you know? And that's gonna be sort of uh, from next week. I just gotta get a few things sorted there, and we're gonna start streaming in 4K, Famo. How are you, pub test? You're up early, bud. Pub test does a lot for uh, Australian content creators, fam. Okay, he's involved with a lot of the uh, up and coming generation, which is good to see. All right, tide's coming in. Uh, I'm just fishing soft plastics, Ron. Just pretty basic, mate. I'm using a leader to match the conditions. And uh, I'm just fishing the uh, little grub tail. We're not really chasing brim, we're more chasing mulloway. Seeing if there's a little half metre fish belting around. So... Who knows, it's YouTube, Lowy. YouTube have got a long way to go with their um, live streaming, but, or it could be Streamlabs, I don't know, but it's not a very good streaming experience. You know what I mean? So hopefully this new program that we're gonna use solves that problem. Ooh, that's a big one. Just try and refresh, it might work. Dulcet. Oh. Jimbo, please. Dulcet's like a posh way of saying boring, really. Uh. 
Poor little buggers. Righty yo, we're fishing in the wrong spot. They're all over this side. Let's have a look. That one on that side was bigger than this one than Rose. You can just tell by the movement of the water. Oh, and of course the fish are everywhere that our lure isn't. Hey, Unknown Rand, how are you, bud? Okay, hopefully that's landed on its head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got it on the drop fair. Oh, I let go. Ah, oh, dear. Sometimes when you see them rise, if you cast at the rise, they'll hit it on the way down. But anyway, it's not going to go near that again because it doesn't taste the best, you know. Oh, it did though. Come on, bud. I'm just going to stop for a second, right, and give it time to swim up and look at it and do the, oh, what are you looking at, you know. Let me just check this now. Oh, yeah, hang on. It's a little bit out of sync. Hey. Uh, about 1.30, Ron, but we're not going to be fishing through till then, mate, because I've got work today. Come on, you little bugger. Don't be shy. Yeah, I've got work today, mate, so... Uh... Yeah, high tide's a little bit later in the morning. Morning. I'm still getting accustomed to this fishing rod that I bought. It's got a lot softer tip action than the other ones I use, which I mainly use for bait. So when it comes to setting the hook, I'm not vigorous enough to set the hook, you know. Rightio. All right, so we've got one. There we go. Excuse me. Fishing with CJ. Hello from Great Britain. How are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. So you're a streamer too, are you, fishing with CJ? Welcome, bud. Yeah, we're in Australia, CJ. So what I'm doing is just fishing with soft plastics early morning, rising tide, just enjoying the environment and sharing the content with the community. You know, so... Oh, missed the hit. Little bugger. All right, I'm just going to stop for a second. <laughs> Welcome, CJ. How are you, bud? Valerie, can you cut and paste fishing with CJ's link and post it in the chat, please? Right. And just, um, yeah, look, we've got another uh, fishing streamer in here, fam, so...
Okay, so they are out there to rising tide. Let's just do that, right? I'm just gonna let that sit. So CJ, coarse fishing or freshwater fishing, bud? <laughs> Come on, little fella. Promise I'll let you go. Oh, no, hang on, what happened there? A little bit of weed on it. Oh, saltwater angler. Mostly sea. Sorry, bud. It's normally when people, you know, I mean, the saltwater movement in Great Britain has really taken off in recent years because traditionally everybody, like I just did, associates with freshwater and coarse fishing, you know. Welcome, mate. Now, I'll see if... Oh. I'm just going to leave that down there for a second, let the fish look at it. Hopefully they don't swim off with it. Just going to check my microphone. Hey, all working. Really good. That's what we need. Martin S UK, how are you bud? Welcome. I need a little spinning wheel with a faster retrieve than this one. But that's all right, we've got one, fam. Right, we need to just readjust this, fam. <sighs> okay. So, let's have a look. Yeah, when these get hit by a fish, sometimes they need to get readjusted. So, let's just get this in here. Like so. Alright, that's a much better, much better fit. season we're sort of heading into autumn Ronnie so this is the late sort of season run for us um, the Mulloway usually come into the rivers and spawn in October in the spring we've got a lot of content coming from Perth this year That's better now, it's swimming properly. Oh. Mate, 
Might change the soft plastic in a second, fam. Might try a different colour. Yesterday we got a few more on the other colour that we used in the box, so. Right. Let's go again. And hopefully, we're training the fish in here not to take soft plastics or lures. <laughs> so, you know. Oh. You fished out of Hillary's Wharf. Oh, so when did you do that, CJ? I didn't see that. Sorry, mate. How long ago did you fish out of Hillary's? Oh, that was a hit. Let's try it a little bit more vigorously, I think. That might work. How's California these days, Ron? Is it a good place to live or? This is the less glamorous side of fishing, Femo. A lot of YouTube videos are done, you know, with the music and the backing and all that sort of stuff, which people like to see. But when you do it live, this is real, so. We're not getting much interest with this lure. So let's have a look. Radio. Oh, they're following it right in now. Okay, well they need to slow things down. Let's just slow things down. Let's just get that out there. Boom. Excuse me. Just a little crowded. Oh, excellent. See you, cow. Amberjack? Uh, when you say amberjack, mate, do you mean pink snapper? Or were you out in the boat? Because you've got amberjack, you've got Samson fish, you know, and I'm not, you know, oh, here we go, there's a fresh rise out there, straight on its head. Plonk, lovely. This will hit it on the drop, probably. Watch your line. Right on its head then, fam. Oh, it was an amberjack over 30. Oh, out on a boat, righto. Yep, no worries. Because I have had people in chat before, and I'm not implying anything, but yeah, they sort of mix their species up. Amberjack are very similar to Samson fish, mate. 
I think the only way you can really tell the difference is counting the number of dorsal fins on top. Nice. Right here, we're going to swap lures now. Hey, sweet peach, how are you? Welcome. How's your day going so far, or evening, wherever you are in the world? Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah. CJ, some people can't help themselves, mate. They've always got to go one better. Yeah, but it's not about biggest and all that sort of stuff, mate, you know. Amberjack are rare too, mate. So, all right, we're going to try a slimmer profiled uh, soft plastic now. We've got uh, lower water conditions than normal. So we're going to just change colours to a slightly more neutral colour and more of a... Uh... Oh, CJ, we don't give out location on stream, buddy, but this is a river in the southwest of Western Australia near where I live. Okay, um, we've got a kayak sponsorship coming next month, and when we are... get the kayak sponsorship, we're going to be taking everyone on an adventure. So um, what we're going to do is uh, fish this river, other rivers down south, and we're also going to go out in a kayak out 5Ks or 10 kilometres offshore and try and catch deep sea species like the one that you caught, bud, which is always fun. That's nice. So... This is one of the most fished out rivers in the state next to Perth. The Swan River has immense fishing pressure, but uh, this is not far off. Cod Bites Fishing Adventures, how are you bud? Welcome to the stream. What I'll do, famo, is after the stream, I'll go and subscribe to everyone that's come in today, okay? Ah, no, CJ, it's not, mate. So, no, it's not. So, I mean, um, yeah. We'll see if this colour and style of lure works. That's better.
Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, mate. Snow's very overrated, so you can have it. Quiet morning on the soft plastics this morning. Okay. Let's change things up a bit. Might have to go to the... That's better. Uh. Nice one, mate. I will do. These are just uh, these are just the Z-Man uh, soft plastic CJ. Okay, so they're just rigged, nice and slim profile. Okay, uh, this is the bloodworm colour. So cod bites, whereabouts are you from in the UK? And CJ, where are you in the CK uh, in the UK, mate? Are you in like uh, Bristol or those places? There it is. Right, hopefully that lands on its head. We are getting no interest in this little red all. Let's try again. Eastport and Brighton, okay. No worries. Actually, let me see if I can give you a subscription now. Where's that link? Thanks, Valerie. What do we got here? All right. Yep. All right. Oh, we're just fishing for Mulloway and Brim. We don't have a lot of the species they have in America here, CJ. So it's just, you know, that's about the only two things we've got in here. We've got bluefish or tailor as they're called here in WA. So, um, Valerie, did you put cod bites? Um, oh no, that's right, I've got it here. Oh, I'm already subscribed to, um, I'm already subscribed to Cod Bites. Excellent. Okay, let's just have another couple more casts and then we'll see how we go from here.
Yeah, we haven't even had a single hit on this, so I'll swap it out again. Scotty, how are you, bud? We're just fishing a river for Mulloway, mate. We've caught eight here in three days. Just going to change over my soft plastic to a, uh, another type. Let's bring this one in. How does that look? No, that's not looking too good. What about that one? No, that's not good at all. Let's try that. Okay. How are you, Scooty? You having a good day, mate? You got plenty of rain up there in Perth or what, brother? Wheelchair 2120, how are you mate? Welcome to the stream bud. How are you going today? Don't forget to subscribe fam and like the live stream so we let YouTube know what we're doing. <sighs> Excellent, good on you mate. Right, we're going to more of a grub tail now, fam. Okay. That's better. Wait, what? How are you, bud? Welcome to the stream, mate. Yeah, it's a much better picture. Thank you, Fishing with CJ. I've, I was actually already subscribed to you, bud. I subscribe to Cod Bites, so this is good. There's a good fishing community on YouTube. I'm not using any scent on my soft plastics either, fam. Just relying on skill, hence we're not catching much. <laughs> Radio. That's working exceptionally well. Why is everything so quiet all of a sudden? I hope there's a larger fish out there. Oh, Val Groupie. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Val's Groupies, eh? Val, I never knew. You've been holding out on me, Val. I've just got to get this knot out of my line. That's not going to give me a fish at all. Let's have a look here. Come on, bud. All right. All right, there's one that just poked its nose out of the water over here. Let's see if it's over there. Uh. Yeah, I do, Ron, but not at the moment. Oh, now they're out here. Great, hang on. Now they come in. Did you see that over there, fam? Where I've been casting for the last 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, we're going to be doing a lot more fly fishing on this channel. I'm just going to see if I can drop this on that fish's nose. Nah, not even close. Oh, good on you, Cod Bites. You'll get there, mate. Well, 
This is um, the rivers here in Western Australia. This is actually salt water. So all the plants on the edge of this river are salt water tolerant. And the fish that are in this river get to a certain size and then they head out to the ocean. Rivers are very important for the, uh, you know, life cycle of a lot of saltwater fish in Australia. To get to the fresh water on this river, you've got to go about 15 to 20 kilometers upstream. Yeah, I actually came across to YouTube from another platform, CJ. So we're already established on the other platform and we're in the rebuilding stage on this one, you know, but YouTube's good. Just a lot of issues with trying to go live in Australia on YouTube. And like most um, streaming platforms, it's catered to uh, like gaming rather than live streaming, you know, so, or IRL as they like to call it. take a different approach now. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. Oh. And thanks to the 18 viewers that have come in today. We've caught one fish today. Um, waiting for our second one, obviously. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast that out and leave that on the bottom and give the fish time to go and have a look at it. Right, they're more in the middle of the river where it's deeper. When the water level comes up, they come in closer to the shore. So. Nah, mate. There's so many different platforms that are coming up now. You know... I'm using Streamlabs at the moment, but I dislike it. Yeah, I don't like Streamlabs. Stream Elements cooks your phone. Prism cooks your phone here in Australia because of the heat. The biggest problem we've got here in Australia is there's no, um, oh, that's why. There's no, um, you know, there's no electronic equipment that's designed to withstand the Australian heat. So in, um, in summer, everything cooks, you know. Spud King, how are you, bud? Yeah, a bit quiet today, Spud King, but we're all right, mate. better yeah we do we do a lot of different content on here we also do cooking streams all sorts of stuff man oh hello what was that come on bud come back all's forgiven There's the hit. Now we've just had a hit fam. So I'm just gonna stop for a second. Oh. 
there it is. Yeah, they're just too far out because of the... Uh... That's alright. Whew. Right, that's taking longer to drop than I expected. I've got a different size head on this. So, out we go. Stay there. Quite and right off, ammo. There we go. Hey, Spud King, Marlem up, hey? Oh, it's open. Yeah, that's right, it's open. It closes off in the winter, doesn't it? Daz72, Dan, how are you, bud? Hey, Spud King, has, um, has the size of the salmon increased since they removed some of the commercial licenses? And I think they've stopped netting for herring as well. So, you know, we're probably going to be doing a beach stream Tuesday or Wednesday this week. Might go back to my original coloured lure, I think. So. Five to six kilos. Okay, Spud King. Yes. Um, you know, we got... Um, yeah, I was fishing with surface poppers down at Warren Beach one day. And we got a couple that were around the nine kilo mark. Should have seen them. They were only hitting the surface poppers, they wouldn't hit muleys. I like fishing for salmon with surface poppers, mate. It makes it interesting. And I've got the gear to do it with now, so... 
Yes. No interest on this coloured soft plastic today, so back to the original one. Yeah, Scotty, I reckon 12's pl plenty, you know? I mean, what are you going to do with 20 herring? The thing is, if you make it 12, they'll take 20 anyway, you know? This is what they forget. It's not a perfect world, you know? Well, the state record's only 10, so... Let's try this one. And that was, um... There's a lot of two-wheel drive beach in the southwest too that I'm going to go to. Hey there, Glasgow FIFA. Yeah, Scotty, I was holding the tail here, like this, right? And the head was, like, just bending a bit on the ground. I couldn't fit him into my esky. But that was a long time ago. Rightio. Back to our original coloured soft plastic. We'll give it about another half hour, fam. We've caught um, eight mull away from this spot in a couple of days, just on soft plastics. I don't think I'm going to go back to baits in the rivers. And this year, famo, next week I'm going to try and get down south and do a um, live stream from a river down there. I just need to be able to get reception, which is always the problem, you know? Yeah, there's a little secret to salmon, fam. I'll show everyone that secret this year on a YouTube VOD. Boom, lovely. Uh. There we go. Bit of movement behind that soft plastic fan. There might be something out there. Let's have a look. And this is the thing with lures and soft plastic fishing, hard bodies, whatever. Just got to be busy, you know? Right, that's better. A little bit of a pendulum cast there, as they call it. Hey, Glasgow FIFA, how are you, bud? How's sunny Scotland today? <laughs> Four seasons in one day, for sure. It's funny, famo. The river was go the water was going this way before, and the tide was coming in, and now it's starting to go out, which is against what's meant to be happening. So anyway, you had a bit of sun and hail. <laughs> Love Scotland. There we go, famo. Second fish of the day. Hopefully, it stays on. It's not a very big one. In fact, what's this, a tailor, is it? No, it's a small, small mulloway. No tailor. Oh, wow. Well, there goes that soft plastic. Oops. 
Just a little tail of famo. Okay, back it goes. See you, bud. Now, one thing I've done, I don't even know how that fish took that hook. This hook's huge. So what I've done here with these soft plastics is I've glued the front of the soft plastic tail to the jig head. So what happens is it sits nice and true. And then if you want to make it weed proof, you just push that up there. Okay. And that allows the tail to function like that. And um, if I wanted to fish this with a more vertical type soft plastic, so it looks like the fish is grubbing into the, into the dirt on the bottom of the river, you'd glue it here. Okay, just to give it a little bit more of an angle, okay? So obviously, this colour works, so. But if there's tailor there, there'll be mulloway fam. It's like if you go fishing down the beach and you catch a heap of tailor during, during the day, you'll have a big mulloway swimming with a school of tailor. That's better. As soon as we changed back to this colour on this lure, it started working. Fish don't stand a chance, fam, seriously. You know, if they can eat something that's not a real bait, you know. One thing that astounds me is the amount of money spent on these soft plastic rods. Uh, you know, I spent about um, 60 odd dollars on this rod because I just liked the fishing rod and then I saw, oh wow, that's cheap. But uh, some of these soft plastic rods that are specifically for soft plastics, thousand dollars, easy. You know, I saw one the other day that was 800, poof. You know what I mean? Buy a lot of fishing tackle with $800. Okay. Uh, do you, Scotty? You don't need to, bud. Don't. When you go into a tackle store, if you're chasing a specific type of rod, look at 10 different rods that do what you want it to do, right? Pick the ones that you like, check the price. A lot of my, I mean, I'll spend a couple of hundred dollars on a reel, which is fair enough, but not on rods, you know? So, um, yeah, I know, Glasgow, that's why I'm actually going to end the stream. Look, people, thank you very, very much for tuning in. We've had a very quiet morning. I'm going to just duck off to the other platform now. Thanks for giving up your time to come in and watch. Don't forget to like and sub subscribe. Welcome to all the new members that have come in, Fishing with CJ and Cod Bites. Please go and give them a free subscription on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, fam.